Hi, Barbara Ireland with another Mind Loops Insight. Today's question is, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? The thing is, you know, I read, a, I read some research that said one in 100 of us know what we want. Now, when I read that, it was some years ago, before I really dove into my mind loops work. And I thought I was that one in 100 who knew just what she wanted. And then a friend of mine asked me, started asking me questions about the things I thought I wanted. To get specific, okay, well, you want to do music. Well, how much do you want to tour? How many people do you want in your audience? What kind of music? How, are you playing any covers? How much do you want to make? I was suddenly perplexed. Who do you want in your band? <laughs> I mean, there were so many unanswered questions. And here I thought I was so clear about what I wanted. And that this question is so important, so important to ask, because we don't ask it enough. We think we know, believe me, maybe you do know, and bravo, and maybe you've really thought this through, but most people haven't, not to a degree of real clarity. And if we're hoping that the universe is going to help us out and bring us things that we want, and we don't even freaking know what it is we want, then it's going to bring other things to us. So the, I see it's the seventh D of de-looping is dream. This is the beginning step in the reprogramming of the mind. It's to dream, like, what is it to, that you want? What do you want in the way of success or a career or accomplishments? What do you want in the area of family? What do you want with your health? What do you want with your relationships? What do you want with your purpose? What do you want with your money? What do you want as far as who you are? What is your identity? What kind of characteristics do you want to have in your life to be as a human being walking this earth? Are you just going to walk around like a leaf floating in the wind? Just whatever happens, whoever I end up being. You know, I do hear this phrase. I can't change myself. That's just who I am. It says who? Every moment of every day is a choice, it's a decision point about who we are and what, how we're going to be in this world. And if we're having some problems going on in our world, in our lives, those are decision markers, aren't they? How do we want to respond? Not react, hopefully. How do we want to respond to this? Who do we want to show up as in this situation? And what dreams do we have for our future? These are all things within your grasp. These are things that you have control of. You don't have control of all those outside things. So the first question is, what do you want? Now, often we know a lot more about what we don't want than what we do want. And so I'm going to give you a really awesome exercise today that I do with clients. It's called Chop Choose. So you take a piece of paper and on one sheet you draw a line down the middle. The top left side says chop, the top right side says choose. And you think about an area, maybe your work situation, your job, and you think, 
well, I don't know really what I want in this job, but I know I'm not digging it. I come home stressed out, overwhelmed, pee off, peed off. <laughs> um, I'm angry at my coworker or my boss. I'm exhausted. I don't feel like I have meaning in my life. And I take it all out on my spouse when I get home. Or I'm drinking a bunch because I'm trying to forget it. Well, those are a whole bunch of things you know you don't like. So you're going to write all those down under chop. I, this wage, don't like to make this wage. I don't like this uh, conflict with my coworker. I don't like to be yelled at by my boss. I don't like to come home stressed. So come home stressed. Conflict with boss. Whatever. Uh, meaninglessness. Or being held back in your job. There's all these things. You're like, I don't like this job. Now, you look at that list. And on the choose side, on the opposite side of each entry, you write down the opposite. So instead of conflict with boss, it says great working relationship with boss or respect um, and connection with my boss, whatever. The end of the day, instead of exhausted and stressed, it's uh, fulfilled and energized from work. Yeah, that can happen. When you're doing something you love, you can feel fulfilled and actually energized, even if you're physically or mentally tired. Um, instead of this wage, you could say what wage you do want, that you feel you're worthy, valued of as, what you bring to this work. So you have these very clear things. Now, you actually do know what you want in your job. When before it was this vague, I just don't like it, and I'm going to complain about it instead of do anything about it. Now you have a whole list. So who are you going to show up as on each of these things to start changing them? What kind of person would have a good relationship with their boss? What might need to change within yourself, which is their only place of power? that could create that change with your boss? How could you add more value to raise your salary? Or maybe it means you have to ask for a raise. Or maybe you find out after all that, this isn't even the job for you. So how, what's your next step? I highly recommend doing this in whatever area in your life that you feel like there's something you want. So what is it that you want?